Is heaven a hope? Or as real as the earth and sky? I once asked my grandfather that question. And he said by the time he knew the answer, it would be too late for him to tell me. The day would come when I asked that question again, staring into the eyes of my son. Paid by the hour. Afraid you don't get paid by cash either. You sure you're okay with the carpet? Oh, times are tough. Your business improves, mine will too. You guys actually have a job. Look at these bombs. Oh, yeah, he's got five of them. Oh, you want some help? Oh, you know, if you keep accepting things instead of money, eventually you're going to run out of things and money. Yeah, I got downsides, man. Downside. You let us just keep your seats. Yeah, don't help. Got this. Don't help. Not necessary. No problem. No problem. Let's go. Light it up. Go where you got. Go, Burpos, Burpos. Boys night out, we go get some pizza. Pizza palace? Really? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Does that sound good? What kind are you gonna get? Uh cheese. No, you're not. Cheese. Cheese. 
What's wrong, Dad? You know, there's some people over at the hospital, and they won't make them lie. To see my grave. I'll go with you. You're going to go with me? Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's such a good idea. It might be a little sad or a little scary. That's all right. Sad with you, I won't be afraid. You coming with me, then? Hospital and pizza. Hospital and pizza. <laughs> Let's go. You know what we say when we're hungry. Um... Doctor. Reverend Burkle. Todd. Todd. Yeah. My name is Lee. My father asked for a, a pastor. Would you mind talking to him? Sure. Great. Sure. You okay, pal? Mm-hmm. Listen here. My name's Todd. I'm here to pray for you. Everything you're sorry for. Everything. I believe God forgives. And if he forgives anything, he forgives everything. And then said to the lion, of all the deaths we could have died, this is the one we would have chosen. Take your blanket. Good night. Dad. Yeah. I pray for the sick man. expected to be in the offered us a house as part of my salary. Never mentioned the railroad. I don't like the rumble. It's romantic. How tired are we this month? No, we don't talk about money. Slim Force couldn't pay for those garage doors. Donated some carpet for the church instead. But he said he had the cash when he placed the order. Mm -hmm. Things changed. You had a rough day, didn't you? As long as I'm with you, I'm not afraid. You're good. Let me tell you something. The next time I'm practicing your favorite hymn and you howl like a dog, I'm gonna whip you like a dog. Mm. You hear me? Doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> oh. Good.
Douglas. Voices of angels, right? Well, this morning, I want to talk to you about what sort of commitment makes a marriage, makes a relationship, makes up a life. Last night, I stood in the bedroom where our children sleep, and I listened to their mother read them a bedtime story. And in the final saga of this wonderful land where animals talk with humans and a great lion leads them all to love and faith, and courage. In the last chapter of this great story written for children just like me and Mrs. Davis over here, <laughs> all of the lion's enemies have swept away his followers except for two, a bear and a unicorn, who are trapped in a cave with a lion. And because the entrance to this cave is narrow, the wave after wave of soldiers that the evil king sends in to try and kill them can't do it. The lion, the bear, the unicorn, they fight him off. So finally, the king sends in a messenger. He says, look, the one that we really want, the one we're interested in, is that lion. Give him up, and the rest of you will live. Ah, oh, the unicorn, we're going to cut his horn off. We'll make him pull a cart for the rest of his life. The bear, we're going to put in chains and shackles, make him dance in the circus. But both of you will live. All you have to do is give up that lion. Finally, the lion looks at his friends with that look in his eyes. What are you going to do? And the bear and the unicorn, they just smile. And they say, of all the deaths that we could have died, this right here is the one we would have chosen. The bear and the lion, the unicorn, they weren't looking for an easy road. I don't think Jesus was either when he accepted the cross. There's a lot of people, they don't believe that story any more than the one about the lion, the bear, and the unicorn. I'm here with you all this morning because I believe in them both. And I'll never give up that lion. Rosa. Sonia. How are you? I'm good. I am. I have something I wanted to give you. It's just something small. Thank you. Oh, Sonia. This is too beautiful. No. Not for her. Oh, baby. Wow. Sonia gave it to us. Where do you see you? It's gorgeous. You're great when I'm there to inspire you. You want to inspire me? You get a hit at that softball game this afternoon. Outstanding, I will. Watch that ball like that. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. Is there a problem? Is there a problem? Hey, hey, hey. Is it I'm all right. All right. He's got me warmed up, baby. He got me warmed up now. Yeah, let's go. Easy out. Oh, oh. Michael, Michael, it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Oh, God.
Kidney stones again. Yeah. All we can do is give you painkillers and lots of water and let you pass them. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. <sighs> You're gonna be all right. Jay! Hey! Todd's passing another stone, so Colton and I will go in the park. All right. See you play Oh, horses bite, did I tell you that? I'm... How's he doing? John? That's a bunch. I think they usually say you gotta pass about 14, 15 to make sure they're gone. What do you want? Well, uh, you know, we're sort of wondering when you think you might be able to preach again. Okay, thank you. From the prison ministry. He's used to captive audiences. She's from the seminary. If Todd isn't back soon, I'm going to kill somebody. And I'm going to start with you. Use an anvil. We need to get out of town. Family getaway. I know a great place. Denver. Denver? Mm-hmm. We can bring the kids go for a weekend. When? I don't know. Soon. No, I, I, I gotta focus on work. We need it. I gotta get some bills paid. You need it. All right, well. There's no way I'm telling you. Okay. I'm just saying, if you did, I would, um... Now? 
Okay. Not now. Huh? If you say we can go. Kids, we're going to Denver. <laughs> This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let it shine. Can we this. sing We All Rock You? Buddy, you're, you're a boy, make a big, big noise, noise playing in the street. You're gonna be a big man, man. 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 You got a blood on your face. Big disgrace. Kicking out your tail all over the place. Say we. His eyes. He wants to eat. Yeah. No, he wants. I have. Oh, oh. there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> Get in there and hold Rosie. Colton, why don't you try? Ooh. Hello, Doctor. It's Sonia Burpo. Colton started throwing up on the way home in the car. Cassie! No, I don't. Cassie? Yes. Oh, Cassie. Honey? Oh, yeah. Hey, this is Todd Burpo, overhead garage door, Imperial, Nebraska. That's right. Right. I got that big order for the 591 series doors, B-U-R-P-O. Okay, I'm sending in that deposit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay that in full with the job completion, all right? Okay. Thank you very much. His fever's up. I thought it was only steady. It was. It's now 104. It's been four days. Cassie's fine. I mean, it could be appendicitis. But you had it in college. I've had it. Maybe this is the beginning of it. I'm not trying to call. No, I already tried. Gotta take him to the medical center. No. Cassie! Ruptured appendix. We need to get him to surgery right away. Call the OR. Daddy, don't let them take me. I'm right here, buddy. I'm right Ruptured here. when? Looks like days ago. He's very sick. Don, run ahead and get him ready. But how can that happen? The blotches on the x ray are infected. It's excluded all through the abdominal cavity. Oh. Okay, but he's gonna be okay. We're right? gonna get in there and clean him out. You'll have to wait here. Okay, just wait here. Right? He's wait here. <laughs> Stay right there, please. Come with me. 
Take my boy? <laughs> Don't you take my son? Don't you take my son? His blood pressure is falling. We're losing him. Sonia, how's Colton? We're in trouble here. He's um. He's not, he's not doing well. He's worse, he's much worse, and I... No, no. Will you call some friends and ask them to pray for him? Of course I will, honey. Right now. I'll pray for you too. Jay, we got a problem. Please help us watch over this little boy. He's very precious. I've heard him say so many times what a fine young man you are. I have a favor I'd like to ask. For our brother, for his family, for his boy. Rose, it's Nancy from the church. Colton Burpo is in the hospital and he may not live. Get the kid a sticker. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Sticker, you're not afraid anymore. We don't ever have to be scared. Is that why you wanted to come back? Show me you weren't afraid? It's important. What about the hospital? How do you feel about that? Does that scare you? No, that's where the angels sang to me. The angels sang to you? 
Yes. When? During the operation when Mom was in one room talking on the phone and you were in another room yelling at God. How'd you know that? Because I saw you. When did you see me? I lifted up and I looked down and saw the doctor working on me. And I saw you and Mommy. Coming. Setting records? You got a sticker, huh? It's a record! <laughs> How you doing? Okay. <laughs> How was the trip? That was good. Fine. Just fine? That was amazing, actually. Colt nailed that spider yeah. like he was holding Spider-Man. Come on. You ever mention this idea to you of hearing, uh, Angels singing? Not unless you're talking about you and me in the shower. Todd, these bills, they are coming through. How bad? $23,000. I mean, do we have any receivables? Anything we can collect at all? These utilities, if we can put those off. Now this one, I gotta pay Jack Martin for those truck tires. Just wanted to sick. We've got a medical bill coming in as well. Thirty-four thousand dollars. That's just part of the twenty. No, no, that's just what we owe with medical supplies, living expenses, taxes. I'm gonna have to get a job. I don't wanna do that. We, you can't work any harder than you well, are. We need you we'll here. We have You're to pay the hard. doctor. Of course, honey. We're gonna find some way to take care of that. We got to pay him. He helped me. I saw him. Why do you say that? Because sometimes he sounds weird. He says Jesus has a horse. Well, all sisters think their brothers are weird. That's just the way it goes. Okay. All right. Okay, so your dad's a preacher. He knows a lot of things. But he didn't know that Jesus has a horse. Didn't know that. It's beautiful. Yeah? What color is it? It's all the colors. All the colors of the rainbow are in heaven. Except they're all more. More what? Just more and brighter. <laughs> How do you know about this horse? Because I saw him in heaven. You were in heaven. Dad, can we talk about this tomorrow? Because I'm getting really sleepy. Oh, okay. okay. Can I sleep in your room tonight? No, no, we're gonna go ahead and sleep here. It's late, guys, come on. Open the door! Sorry. Wanna sleep? Colton just told me I went to heaven. What? When? Just now. I know, when, when, did he, when did he go to heaven? He said that during his operation, he left his body and looked back on the operating table and saw himself. He has a very beautiful imagination. I do too. I have the same thing. Hi, how are you, Rosa? Can we get, uh, what do you think? Milkshake. And two milkshakes, please. <coughs> so, Colton, I want to ask you about when the angels sang to you. Sure.
I was alone, but I wasn't scared. I was at the church. The door was closed. I opened it. And I saw something wonderful. to hurt me. That's right, Colton. And nobody here ever will. There are some people here who want to meet you. So what, what, what did they say? I asked them to say we will rock you, but they wouldn't. <laughs> and they laughed just like that. Mm. Moreland University Department of Psychology, Chairman's Office. May I speak with Dr. Slater, please? Are you calling for an appointment? Yeah. Is there any chance she could see me today? Slater? Yes. Hi. I'm, I'm Todd. Burko. Oh, yes. Please, come in. Thanks for uh, seeing me at short notice. Um, Burpo, are you a minister over in Imperial? Yeah. Yes, how'd you know that? Uh, my late husband was religious. Please, please, sit. <laughs> uh, he had heard about a speaker named Burpo who was very interesting, and he kept badgering me to come hear you. You're not... Not what? Religious. No. Is that a problem? No. No, you might offer me a harder opinion. Help me find a more rational understanding for something. I have a son who's uh, extremely smart and he's sensitive. And? He went to heaven. And then he came back. Your son had a near-death experience. No, he didn't die. We checked his surgical reports. It, his heart never stopped. His brain activity never flatlined. So why do you say he went to heaven? Because he says he did. At the point near death, the body releases hormones that can induce a state of peace, even bliss. Our brains fill in the blanks. Christians see Jesus, Jews see Moses, Muslim see Muhammad. Yeah, I read your article, but my son saw things that I can't really explain. He saw me praying. He saw me shouting at God. He saw his mother in another wing calling friends, asking him to pray for us all the while he was in surgery. Reverend Burpo. Todd. Todd. 
Is it unusual for your wife to call friends in a time of crisis? No, no, it's not. And is it unusual for you to pray or be compassionate no. when you do? No, of course not. But I know my son. And when he talks about heaven, it doesn't sound like something he's making up. He's, it's very specific. He's four. And he's extremely smart. Yes. Both my kids are. Reverend. Todd. I don't mean to discount whatever magic it is you derive from all of this, but there are many explanations, even for extrasensory knowledge. Is it really easier to believe in that or clairvoyance or telepathy than it is life after the physical? Believe in miracles? I found such concepts to be a bit circular, even before I watched my husband die. Let me ask you, did you come here today because you were wondering about my faith? Or were you wondering about your own? Thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hey, what if you have an encounter so far beyond your own experience that it's irrational what then Colton doing today? Is he back to torturing his sister? Yes. <laughs> I need some advice. Smart advice. <clears throat> well, I am not smart, so you came to the right I guy. I know that. Nothing but clumsy, inaccurate advice available here. I've been expecting to see you a little sooner. What do you mean? Well, I'm your banker. I didn't come here for a loan. Not the bank's money. Just from a friend to a friend. Let me help you out, okay? Nobody'd have to know. I'd know. I never wanted to be the guy who stands up there in the pulpit, asks people to give to charity when all he does is take it. It's not charity. It's a loan from a friend to a friend. I know you need the help. It's what real people do. I don't. Well, then you didn't come here for smart advice. I don't think the church has kept your salary in line with the new members that you brought in. I think you deserve a raise. Let me talk to the board, see what I can do. I didn't come here for a raise either. All right. Good. I didn't want to ask him. What can I do for you? It's Colton. He's been talking about this, uh... We ask these kids to believe this stuff, and I don't even know if I believe it myself, Jay. What? trying to tell you about. He's been saying things I don't understand. Talking about these conversations in heaven. I used to go out with a flight attendant whose son had extensive conversations with Barney the dinosaur. <laughs> Do you know how irritating Barney is? Yeah. He's purple. Exactly. Exactly. Hey, the Bible tells us to, to believe his children. But my child's telling me to get me laughed out of this town. That's what I'm saying. I don't know what to preach. I don't have anything to say. Speak from the heart, Todd, like you always do. What about fear do we struggle with? Is it confusion? Is it doubt? Is it questions? I got questions. We all do. Maybe we ought to just... Maybe we ought to try that today. Just see if... Uh, Want to try questions. Todd? Yeah? Well, my family and I prayed for you a lot. Thank you. 
Thank you, Michael. Uh, we we're just wondering, how bad was it? How bad? It, it was awful. I mean, a lot of us heard that Colton died during the operation, and prayers brought him back to life. Uh, no, he, he didn't die on the operating table. He, you know, came mighty close, but I, I think it was the doctors and the, through God and all of your prayers that kept him alive, and so thank you all for that. So how did you handle it? Not, not well. But the important thing is, is that the Burpos faced a significant challenge, and they came through it. Amen. 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 And that's the thing, though. Thank you for that, Jay. But I, I, I don't know that I did come through. And Colton's experience makes me wonder. About what exactly, Todd? He's just been telling us about his uh, experiences, talking. About him. When he was in uh, the operation, Colton visited heaven. But you said he didn't die. He didn't. But he saw, he saw heaven. He saw Jesus and angels and... But how? I, I, I don't know. Reverend Burpo. Todd. Todd. Some of the hospital staff have said off the record that your son was not expected to survive. Use the word miracle. How would you explain that? I, I haven't even tried to... Uh, do that. I don't... Can you try? If he didn't I, I... die, uh, how could he see heaven? I don't know, but he did. Do you believe he was in heaven? <sighs> I know he saw something. It sure sounded like heaven. Lord, what's happened to our preacher? Well, I thought that went well, huh? Nice view. Mm. I love being up so high. Mm. Colton! Hey! I thought I asked you to stop playing with that! I'm sorry, Dad! I told him not to, Dad! Half the church wants to stop feeling and start thinking, and then the other half, they want the exact opposite. This is Todd. Yeah? Let me call you back. That's a newspaper. I want to do an article about heaven. And? And they want to interview Colton. And you think that's a good idea? So, Colton. A lot of people were praying for you. I guess. Well, that must feel good. Come over here, buddy. You're being interviewed. Thank you. You were very sick. What did it feel like to die? I didn't die. But you went to heaven. That's, uh, that's a little off topic. It's beautiful. You saw heaven? Mm-hmm. What does it look like? Like here, but even more beautiful. And you saw Jesus? Yeah. He's very nice. I sat on his lap. He has markers. Markers? Yeah. Right here, and right here, and right here, and right here. Can I go swing on this one some more? Yeah. So, Jesus has a horse? There's lots of animals in heaven. They don't believe me, do they? Some people might be afraid to believe. What are they afraid of? I don't know. Maybe they're afraid that there's no heaven. Or maybe they're afraid that there is. You don't believe me, Daddy, don't you? I believe God loves you. So do I. Can I uh, get your picture? What's that? Can I take your picture? 
idea. And thank you. Mm. Hi, Jay. Have you seen this? Yeah, I've read it a couple of times. It's quite an article. I love Todd, but I love our church too, and I, I really can't stand to see it turned into some kind of circus. So why don't we get together? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Okay, thank you. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Bye bye. Oh, no, no, that's okay, no actually. Get out of here. No, 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 no. It's on me, buddy. What do you mean? It's on me. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. it's not, no. It's on me. Sonia gives us a clothes from Miguelito whenever Colton not grows anything. And she gave Lucia a baby dress that an angel would wear. Pink dress? Yeah, beautiful. So please, give me the gift to give me back. Okay. Yeah. Thanks a lot. All right, fine. Hey, sweetie. Hey, hey, Burpo. Hey, next time there's a fire, maybe you should tell Jesus that instead of walking on the water, he could just dump it on all your fire. Right? Oh, come on! You gotta see the humor in it! punch a kid in the nose today? Mm-hmm. With your fist in the nose? Yep. But not one kid. Two. Well, what, what, was, the, what was the reason, honey? She had scoom and she wants to. Okay, can I, I'm sorry, can I call you right back? No, honey, I think we should talk about this right now. If you punch somebody, there must have been a good reason for it. They were making fun of Colton. They made fun of him sitting on Jesus' lap. Honey, you know you should have turned the other cheek, though, right? I did turn his other cheek when I hit him. Is Cassie going to get a spanking? Heck no. She's going to teach you to hit without hurting your knuckles. Cassie did today, huh? Yeah, that's pretty cool. Do you want to talk? Sure. Great. I like our talks. Can we talk about him? What would you like to know? What did Jesus look like? He's kind of hard to describe. I'll bet. He looked... 
maybe like the picture you've seen. Do they look like that? The clothes, not the face. This one? This? No, Jesus has light eyes. What color? Bluish or green. Bluish green. Can you see? Not much. So he says that Jesus has light eyes. Greenish blue. Yours are green, mine are blue. He's seeing us. It's quite a compliment, really. In college, I read something about um, our own personal concept of God comes from our feelings about our Father. I sure hope not. Mine had issues. <laughs> You know, if our kids, they grow up believing that they all love the way you love them. Luckiest kids alive. We got a fire. Sure. We'll take care of that one. Come on and add to this, all right? and this is just a visit. But before you go back, I want you to meet someone. I heard you gave Michael and Rosa a baby present. Yeah, I, uh, I thought they could use it. Let's go out. What? Yeah, call Sheila. She'll watch them. Tonight? Yeah. Honey, no, we can't afford it. Hey, that charity auction last year, dinner for two, Maple Grove Restaurant, your favorite place. We used that already. No, we did not. We did. No, we did hey, not. Hey, what are you doing? We did not. The darker the night, the brighter they are. I like you. Yeah, I'm good. It's my best stuff. <laughs> it's getting darker, though. 
We're out of money. We're out of credit, too. And the church board called me today. They want to sit down with you and talk about where we're at as a church. Why didn't they call me? I don't think they would. You just think that they were putting you on the spot. Because they are putting you on the spot. Todd, we're prepared for you to have all kinds of struggles, and we're here to support you during those times. You know, we extended a leave of absence and... Twice. Twice, right. So, I think you're aware the church is not doing very well without you. And so, we need to know what to plan for in the close future. The question for me isn't whether you're preaching is what you're preaching. Colton's trip to heaven disturbs a lot of people. It disturbs me. Do you take it as a literal event? Well, for him, it's not imaginary. It's not a, a metaphor or feeling. It happened. And I take that seriously. I just don't know what to make of it. You know, what, what about it bothers you so much? What is it? I mean, I, I want to talk about it. I need to talk about it. All right. I, I don't like that it feels like um, some fairy tale, just a uh, simple, easy explanation of life. I don't like that. Okay, so because it appeals to simple people. No, no, yeah, okay. I don't like that how it makes our church uh, a magnet for everyone who wants to take the brain out of their head and beat it to death with the Bible and then seem to want to show off how much they believe. Heaven and hell have always been concepts that have been used to control and frighten people. That's one way to look at it, but all Colton's ever talked about is heaven and how it's a beautiful place. Todd, what do you plan on preaching? All of us have times when we lose our way, that's when we look to leaders. If you're gonna lead this church, you've got to make a decision. All right. I say that we give Todd a little bit more time. One more week. But in the meantime, we need to start planning for the future of our church and looking for someone else. B-U-R-P-O. Yep, we've got everything ready to settle your account today. I, I can't do that today. I had a... Um, unforeseen situations. You're not going to settle today? Uh, not today. Well, you are aware that we have extended your accounts twice already. I think it's been one extension. No, it's been twice, and they are going to collections as we speak. Okay, but the, the collections is not something that, uh... Hey, Colton? It's going to collections. It's... Colton? Colton! Hey, come here. Colton? I need to tell them, please. Come here.
Come on, guys, hurry up. Mom's got a music conference today. Hurry, hurry. Hey, you didn't tell me how the, uh, the church board meeting went. We started looking for somebody else. Guys, let's go. Come on, go brush your teeth. Well, we'll figure it out. You didn't come to bed till it was almost dawn. I was researching near death experiences. <laughs> Right? It's fine. It's hey, fine. I mean, don't what? you think that we need to be talking about this life, not the next one? I, I, I'm right here. What do you want to talk we about? We need to make sure our, our children are safe and they're happy and that they are normal. Yes, and normal. I agree. Could go out to the service that loner. Died after the fire at his motor home. Didn't have any friends or next of kin, so. You've got Colton today. I'm gonna take him with me. Great. He's never been freaked out in those situations. He's a lot of comfort. Oh, for the dead man or for you? Touche. You're your grandpa named Pa, right? That's right. Was he your daddy's daddy or your mommy's daddy? He was my mom's daddy. He died when I was about your age. He's very nice. You saw Pop? You saw my grandfather? You saw him. Where did you see him? In heaven. I love my grandfather very much. He was there with me when my father couldn't be. He taught me to weld. He gave me that slingshot. I know. We play with it. That's right. And he was a good man. He was a really good man, but I don't know what he believed in. He was dead. I think he's one of the reasons your dad became a minister. I was hoping he'd get a break into heaven. You don't have to worry, Dad. He's there. He came up to me and told me he was your grandfather and you called him Pop. And he held me in his lap, just like Jesus did. And he told me everything was all right. the man you saw? No, that's not who I saw. Okay, but just look. Are you sure? Colton. Nobody wears glasses in heaven. Hey, go play because when no, Mom No, 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 but are you sure that's not him? No, okay, 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 okay. When, just, when Mom just, gets okay, home? Yeah, Mom will be home in a second. Just wait one second, wait. Everybody's young. Are you okay, Dad? An awful lot happened to you in heaven. 
Yeah, it was amazing. Are you okay? Cold and soft, Pop. Mm. In heaven, my grandfather. I don't know what to make of this. Well, I don't have the luxury of not knowing, Sonia. I don't. Everything he tells me it hits me, you know? And I, I, I want to believe him. Okay, I, I want to believe him. He's four. He's four, he's so innocent, he can't be making this up, but everything he talks about is impossible. It is a massive adventure that he's created. It's, he's talking about Jesus, seeing Jesus' as horse. He talks about choirs of angels and my grandfather. Take weeks or days, but for God, a day is a thousand years, Pause. and a thousand years, but a day. I'm just saying that's scripture. It's scripture, there's no clock. There's no clock. Einstein talks about the same thing. Some realities beyond time. Why it's can't it just be a mystery? And we I leave think it God at... might be trying to reach out to us through Colton. That's what I think. What Colton is telling us, Todd, is an echo of every story, every song, every image he's seen since he was a child. Why does this have to be a myth? Why? I don't know. I don't know how to move on with my life. Tell me what to do. I don't know. All I care about is if my husband and my family know that I love them. I'm sorry, I can't help you with any of this. Faithful service. If your son was a hero, he died by a Marine. You. I always figured it was Jay leaving flags and flowers here on my son's grave. I failed you, Nancy. Worst moment of your life. 
loss beyond comprehension, and I had I had nothing for you. No comfort. No hope. No peace. I should have. Well, you, you didn't let me down. You couldn't take my pain away, and I didn't want it gone. For a while, pain was all I had of him. You don't have to save the world, Todd. I believe that's already been done. Since that meeting at the church, where I was the bitter woman I swore I'd never be, I've been thinking. It's not the people of the church I'm mad at. And it's not you, not your son. It's God. Why God would give you your son back and take mine away. Colton was in that hospital. I saw he was dying. And some part of me broke. Some part that still hasn't mended. Nancy, you don't ever have to apologize to me for any broken part you carry. Do you think, I have to ask, do you think my son went to heaven? Do you love your son? Still? Of course. You think I love mine? I know you do. Do you think I love my son more than you love yours? My son more than he loves yours. Yes, Colton. Did you know I have a sister? Yes, Colton. Of course I know you have a sister. I didn't know. You didn't know that Cassie's your sister? No, I have two sisters. You had a baby eye in your tummy, didn't you? I told you I had a baby die in my tummy. She told me she died in your tummy. What does she look like? Like Cassie, but a little smaller, and hair like yours. In heaven, this little girl came up to me, and she wouldn't stop hugging me. What was her name? She didn't have a name. You guys didn't name her. You're right, we didn't, we, uh, we didn't know that she was a she. Are you okay, Mommy? Yeah. We lost a baby, sweetheart. 
just a few months before she was On the air? Yeah. Everybody here at Imperial followed the story of your son's sickness, and people all over town were praying for his recovery. Now we're starting to hear of an amazing trip he took to heaven. Can you tell us about that? Come by Crossroads Wesleyan Church on Sunday. Tell you all about it. standing here today with wounds that are still healing, fears that are still echoing, and in that way maybe some of you are sitting here this morning exactly like me. I can say truthfully that the pain that I suffered, it was nothing compared to watching my son that close to death. So now we got a question. Was Colton in heaven? Yes. He was in the heaven that God showed him. Is heaven real? Because if heaven is for real, we'd all lead different lives, wouldn't we? Would we? Really? Haven't we already seen heaven? In the first cry of a baby? The courage of a friend? The hands of a nurse or a doctor, the love of a mother or father, haven't we already had a glimpse of heaven and so often chosen the hell of hate and fear? Is heaven for real? Every single one of you has asked that question. All of us have. And for me, the answer is yes. I see it, so I believe it. And what we believe changes what we perceive. And I believe that God, he's love. 10,000 times I've been here and I've talked about on earth as it is in heaven. And I don't know that I ever listened to that. And my son, he saw something. He, he saw heaven. He'll tell you all about Jesus. How about that name, Jesus? Ooh, Jesus. Creates so much hope in so many of you. So much distrust in so many others. That's okay. I believe God asked me to be a pastor. Did he insist on my vision being the same as yours or yours? Of course not. Did he make me one of those heroes like that lion and the bear and unicorn I preached about? No, that's what I wanted. God had a different plan. God crushed my pride. Opened my heart. love and 
all I have to do. The one thing this love requires is that I let others know they're not alone. picked up the brush when she was just six years old. But the visions, when she... Mom, have some lemonade, please. ...started when she was just four. Huh. Look at this on CNN. It's about a girl on the other side of the world who had an experience a lot like Colton's. She saw visions of heaven. Look at this, angels. Huh. Look at this, honey. This is incredible. Her visits to heaven. It's nice, honey, but I gotta talk to you. Okay. Okay, but she's at the age of four. She be, she began to describe her visits to heaven. See? Colton, you okay? That's him. That's who you saw? Colton, God. come here. Hey. I gotta talk to you. Come on. This is. You know that, hey, I wanna talk to you. Hey. That painting of you know that, that girl saw is outfit. what Colton saw. He's saying that that's the. That's uh, we're gonna need this. <laughs>
Darkness in this world feels hard to live. 